Hi, my name is John, and I had a really, really super cool, um, really interesting QHHT session that I facilitated a little while back. And the client was very much, uh, very, very open. He felt like he was a star seed, and he was very aware of himself. He was just a very spiritually open person, loved going to festivals and having fun, and just just raising people's vibrations basically in life he felt very very different to most people he, he, he didn't fit into the into the square box of society so I've had a feeling that his interest that his session was going to be interesting and it certainly was so what happened was he actually under hypnosis he actually regressed to being at source where we all began um, some people call it the God energy or just whatever you, you want to call it but he was there so he saw a white light around him felt nothing but love uh, he didn't want to do anything he didn't want to go anywhere he mentioned that this is the place where he goes in between incarnations basically and he rests and he was quite happy being there at the moment so <laughs> I asked him, I said, well, what do you do there with the majority of your time? And he said, well, we rest, but we also do other things. And I said, well, what else do you do there? And he said, well, if you want to, I'll show you one of the most favorite things that I do. I said, yes, please, let's, can you please go and show me? That'll be amazing. He actually teleported himself <clears throat> to such a massive huge planet he said human minds can't even comprehend how big this place is he said earth is just like a grain of the Sahara Desert he said this place is absolutely monstrous and I said well what is that place and he said a human would construct it as a museum <clears throat> but on this planet it is everything that has ever happened and everything that has ever been invented by not only humans, but by ETs, intergalactic beings, everything that was ever constructed, it is here. And I thought, wow. So I said, what do you do there? And he said, it's just very much like being in a museum. He said, I'll go and take you to where all the animals are if you want to. I said, yes, please. So he was going down this track and every single animal that was ever created was there. And they were living their own individual lives. And he said, but here on this planet, there's, there's no eating other animals or anything like that. So they're all having their best experience, but they just feed off the light energy, the source energy. So there's no need for aggression or anything like that. And he was explaining some of the animals and he said, you wouldn't even believe what what some of the animals look like here. I was like, wow, that was so cool. And then he went on to another place and that was the music. That's right. He said, this is one of my favorite places to go. It's the music where all the intergalactic beings share all their different kinds of music and they put on different concerts for other intergalactic beings and, and spirits to go there. And he said, and he opened the door to one and he said, this is Beethoven. He said, Beethoven's playing. And he said, I'm the, only, I'm the only spirit in here. But he said, all the other intergalactic beings, he said, there's thousands of us in here just watching him. And they're just mesmerized by him. They just absolutely can't believe what a, what a human on earth could actually create with their instruments. And he said, I'm just looking at Beethoven. Beethoven he said he is actually in heaven this is what a human would call heaven he is just performing and everybody is just 100% so involved and so appreciative to it and then he moved on to another place and he said this is all the crafts that have ever been invented and he said some of them are, are as big as planets he said they are just monstrous but he said some of them 
are as small as like a M and M or a little 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 tiny craft. I said, "Well, who fits in there?" And he said, "Oh, you wouldn't believe how small things can go, and they're so quick and they're zippy. They they can get into intricate different things and their energies." And he said, "Everything, all the crafts that have ever been invented here." And he said, "I oh, just like strolling through it and just going through, just going through my own pace." And he said, "The food." He said the food, it was like a it was like a smorgasbord of intergalactic food and what people were using for energy. It was just such such a cool, cool, cool um, session and it was just fascinating. So then I when I crossed over to his subconscious, I said, What's going on down here on Earth? And he said, Well, sometimes some planets get hold of some information, some beings get hold of some information because it's all there for everybody. And sometimes they get a little bit carried away, just like little children. So what happens is we have to send down voluntary souls just to get the balance of the planet. All right. And they said, that's what's happening at Earth now. It's just tilted. There's just some little spirits that are just, you know, just little children that have gotten a little bit out of control so the seesaw's like this so that's what all the volunteers have gone down for they're just rising the vibe, raising the vibrations and they're going to bring everything back in balance again and it's just an experience for him he very much volunteered to come down and he's allowed to have fun and he's allowed to do whatever he wanted to do and it was just such a fascinating super cool experience so if you are interested in having a QHHT session Feel free to jump up on the website just up there or go to qhhtofficial.com and you will just find out so much about yourself and what makes up your whole soul genetic makeup. The most, um, the most fascinating things you could ever do and it really is an experience of a lifetime. So thank you so much for watching and please consider liking and subscribing to the channel because um, I'm going to make some more videos up with some more sessions so they'll be fun as well. So thank you so much.